Hello everyone, Mr. Norgren here again. Our 11th lesson is titled Pace Special. It is fairly quick and easy and it is very useful. Here's our list of short terms. We have Pace Special and then the Color Range Selection. Okay, let's get started. Okay, go ahead and choose File Open from the menu bar or use the keyboard shortcut Command-O. This time navigate to your Macintosh HD and then the video lesson images and find the Amanda Bucket image. You could also download this from the video description. For this lesson you don't need to duplicate. Go ahead and open up a new document though, File New or the shortcut Command N. For the size go ahead actually change the document type right here to Photo. And then for the size we're going to put it on Landscape 5x7 and it automatically gives me a resolution of 300, which is a standard print size. So go ahead and click OK. Now click on the Amanda Bucket image and then change the image size right up here in the menu bar. Click on Image and then down to Image Size. Change the width here to 7 and then the resolution to 300 and then click OK. And now go back to your untitled document and choose the custom shape tool. The custom shape tool is right down here. It looks like a little blob. Yours might look like a rectangle or something else. So just click and hold on this tool. Go to the custom shape tool. And then in the tool options bar up top here, click on this little down arrow and find one of these frames like this one. If you don't see these frames, you could click on this tiny little wheel here and go down to frames and then click Append to add that to your list of uh, custom shapes there. Okay, to get rid of this little window here, I could press Return. And now go ahead and click and drag on your canvas right here. Actually, before you do that, make sure up here at the top it says Shape, and then the fill is at black. So now I'm going to click and drag, and if you hold the Shift key, it keeps the same proportions, but it doesn't really matter for this frame right now. Okay, now go ahead and save this in your video lessons folder, command S. Let's go to your documents and the last name video lessons. And this is last name and then VL11, oops, do a capital L, VL11, and then click save. And then in the layers palette over here on the right, right click on the word shape one and choose rasterize layer and that turns it into a normal layer. Now choose the magic wand tool. The shortcut is the letter W. If I press W, I could see the magic wand tool. Make sure it is the magic wand tool and not the quick selection tool. So go to magic wand and then click on the white space in the center of your frame here. And now what you're gonna do is go back to the Amanda photo, select all with the keyboard shortcut command A, and then copy with the shortcut command C. Okay, so now go back to your frame uh, document here, and then go up to Edit, and then down to Paste Special. And there are three choices here. You could either do Paste in Place, which uh, would put something in the same location if you had two documents of the same size. Paste Into would paste something into a selection, and then Outside would paste something outside of a selection. So go ahead and choose the one in the center, Paste Into and it'll put our selection right inside, or our image right inside that selection. Okay, so now what you're going to do is go ahead and choose the Move tool, letter V, and you can move this image around in that selected area, and it only stays where the selected area is. And you can see the outside edges of that image too. So I'll put it in place, and then I've got a couple more techniques for that, that you could use with Paste Into. So go ahead and open up the SC Palms image we used in the last video. We'll go to the Macintosh HD Video Lesson Images and SC Palms and then click Open. And then what you're going to do now is choose Select and then Color Range up at the menu bar. Select Color Range and click on the black area of one of the palm trees and then you can play around with the fuzziness to get the right selection here. And this is good for selecting uh, just a range of colors. That's why they call it color range. So click OK. Okay, now make a new document, File New or Command N. 
and we'll use that same, uh, let's go back to photo here. We'll use that same five by seven and click OK. And now what you can do is choose one of the selection tools. Watch closely, let's go back to the palms here. Choose one of the selection tools like the marquee or the lasso tool. Click inside a selection. Make sure it's not outside of it or it turns into a little plus there. Click inside the selection area. Drag up, you can see now I have the selection moving. Hold it onto the Untitled tab, and then don't let go until you drop it on the white space here. Now I can click inside here, and just make sure you click inside the selection when you're moving it around. So now I've got a cool selection there of the palm trees. Go ahead and open up uh, Command-O, another image like the beach pier, and open this. And then we're going to copy and paste this, so press Command-A for Select All. Command C for copy. Then we'll go back here and we're going to do edit, paste special, and then paste into. You can also try the two handed shortcut Option Shift Command V. That might be a little bit too much for me to remember, so I'll just choose it, paste into there. Now, finally, you can press Command T and then scale up your image a little bit. Don't forget to hold down the Shift key if you want to keep those same proportions. So that's another little cool technique that you can do. And now we'll go ahead and save this one, Command S. We will go to our Documents, Video Lesson Images, and we will name this Last Name, oops, sorry, Last Name VL11 and then B, and we'll save that to the same spot. Okay, I've got one more technique to show you. Go ahead and make a new document, Command N, and this time change the document type to US Paper and the size to Tabloid and then click OK. In the menu bar choose Image and then Image Rotation and then 90 degrees clockwise. This will give us a like a book layout or a magazine layout that's a standard size, like a two page layout. At the bottom of the Layers palette you're going to click on the New Layer icon right down here. And then you're going to choose the Rectangular Marquee tool and draw a rectangle on your canvas. I already have that selected. I can now draw a nice little rectangle. And then you're going to fill that in with the foreground color if it is black. Press Option Delete. And then you can press Command D to deselect. I'm going to check to see if snapping is on. View Snapping. I'm going to turn that on. Now I'm going to get the Move tool and I'm going to Move tool, remember, is the letter V. Hold down the Option key, click and drag on your image there, and you can uh, place it somewhere else. And with snapping on, it shows me all these little pink guidelines, uh, which is good for placing items and equally spacing them apart. I'm going to go ahead and do one more time. Hold down Option, click and drag, and this time I'm going to press Command T and scale this up a little bit. And I can bring it down a little more. And this is good for creating custom layouts for photo books and things. So I'll press return there. And then finally what we're going to do is uh, paste an image into one of these shapes. So the trick here is to hold down the command key and click on one of the icons. Not the name layer one, but on the actual icon. You can see that my mouse change or my cursor changes a little bit. If you click on there, it will load up this selection. Now I probably already have the uh, beach that was copied to my clipboard. So if I go back to edit, paste special, paste into, it should paste it into there. If uh, nothing happens, what you would have to do is go back to the beach pier, select all, copy again, and then come back here and paste into. It didn't fill up the whole space, so now if you press Command T, hold that shift key with a corner handle, bring this up a little bit and then press return. So go ahead and try for practice to fill in the other two shapes and we are going to save this as last name VL11 and we will add the letter C. We've got three things there. Okay, good job. All right, nice job. You guys learned a few good uses for the paste into command that's in the paste special menu item. The last one is very useful for creating custom layouts for photo books or creating layouts for marketing materials for your business. 
You also learned how to select something a different way using the color range selection. Thanks and have a wonderful day and always be present, professional, and polite in all your future business encounters.